Lucy L. Lewis. This, above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night, the day. Though can not then be false to any man, farewell, my blessing season is in thee. The quote by which Lucy K. Lewis lives by. I met Dr. Lewis at a women's movement forum that Bay Path had to host um, for the Well 400 program. It was kind of like a speed dating type scenario thing. Um, and we knew that we had to interview one person for this final project that we had to present, which I'm doing right now. Um, so when I met her, I actually talked to like three other people before I finally found her. And when I spoke to her, she was very, very warm and welcoming. And just the things that came out of her mouth were just like so inspiring. So I knew that I wanted to interview her and I knew I wanted to listen to her leadership story. Interview time! I'm so nervous, but yet super excited to hear what Lucy has to say. Unfortunately, I didn't have the chance to record her, but um, our interview went awesome. We met at Hot Table on November 3rd, 2017 in Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, at first, I was like wicked nervous to meet um, her again because I had to cancel on her once because um, of work. But she completely understood and we finally had the time to meet um, and it went so smoothly. She first asked me how I was and how school was going, which was awesome to know that someone actually cared. Um, and she gave me so much advice about life and how it's okay to not know. Um, so that really stuck with me. Um, and then when we got into her interview some more, I asked her on her educational background. Um, she started at McMurray College, where she majored in special education. Then she received her bachelor's in science in elementary education from AIC in Springfield. She then moved on to LaSalle Extension University, where she studied business management. Moving on to Western New England University to study business administration. Then moved on to gain her master's degree in human service administration from Springfield College. And then she finished her do educational degree in educational leadership from William Howard Taft University. I asked her like why she selected some of her higher degrees or some similar degrees. Um, and she told me that her experience at stick it was like a growing field and that she knew that she had to get her doctorate or had to get her master's um to go on and that it was a growing field and that she needed that upper hand to move on with her field i literally added her on linkedin like maybe two or three days after i met her officially um and um, as you can tell, like through the post that or the pictures that I have on here, um, that she's very involved with her publishes. She's actually published a few books, and she h highly, highly talked about them. Um, and she's a freelance writer, so she writes um, like at her house and. Um, she's actually a professor here at Bay Path, um, and she's an adjunct for um, a business course, um, and she absolutely loves it. She um, just loves Bay Path, and she loves writing, so it was awesome to hear that she's a publisher. She told me when it came to like working and finding jobs, she told me that um, it was the grace of God, um, that she was never guided or she was always on her own. Um, she was actually bullied back to coming back to Springfield area um, because of her aunts and how she needed to be with family. Um, she told me that 
she does live with some unknown of like what she would have done with her special educational background but um she doesn't regret like any decisions that she's made um which i find is very inspiring to be able to you know understand that that it's not a regret that it's just it's something that happens in life and life is life so it's very inspiring to meet someone that was so true and so honest i'm so glad that i got to meet lucy k lewis at the movement forum and from now on we are gonna stay in contact um she is my linkedin friend and she is a big motivator to me for successing in the future so i'm so excited for the relationship that me and lucy are gonna have from this point forward um and i'm really thankful that i have this experience through the well program to really meet new people and really step out into my comfort zone and having confidence and being a better leader thank you